I'm Marcus Jarima. I'm a physician at Reproductive Medicine Associates of New Jersey. Yeah, I was born and raised in Brazil. Uh, my parents, uh, my father was a physician, an ENT doctor who um, graduated in Brazil, but he came to the U.S. Uh, to do his residency. That's where he met my mom from Missouri, and they both, you know, after they got married, they moved back to Brazil and had six children back there because we grew up in an apartment complex that there was no street between the apartment and the beach. We walked off the apartment, we were right on the beach, so we, we surfed, we, you know, we, it was a beach life for you know, 10 years of my life, and that's, that was really the fondest memories that I have growing up, and, and it's in the wide open, it's, it's a wonderful, it was a wonderful experience. I went to college in Illinois, a small liberal arts college called Lake Forest College, and um, after that, Decided to go to medical school, went west to California, went to Stanford University. I did my medical school in five years because I wanted to add some research time at that as well. After I uh, finished um, with Stanford, I came all the way to the East Coast, went to New York at Cornell. I did my OBGYN residency there. And after that, four years later, I moved down to Baltimore. I went to do a fellowship in reproductive endocrinology at the Johns Hopkins um, Hospital. I was there for three years. After I finished that, I got my first job as a clinical assistant professor at Brown University in Providence. And I was there for four years before I came to New Jersey. I'm a um, New England Patriots fan, and that born out of the fact that when I was in Providence uh, during my um, clinical professorship there, I had uh, season tickets to go see the Patriots. So we saw them win two Super Bowls and I think that just uh, cinched it for me. As far as books, I like to read fiction stuff, paperback fiction. So I usual read a legal drama or a sci-fi kind of book. Um, one of my favorite books is Jurassic Park. I watch a lot of movies. One of my favorite movies, if I had to take one movie with me to a desert island, it would probably be Shawshank Redemption movie. I, I really enjoy that movie from beginning to end. What is very hard to explain to patients sometimes is the impact of age on fertility, how real it is that as, as patients get older, trying to get pregnant, it's almost like fighting, fighting nature, and nature is fighting against them. It's a big battle. And I think patients come in sometimes with um, knowledge of a friend who was at the same age that was able to conceive normally, why can't they? And so I think you have to explain to patients that everybody's an individual. People have individual, individual characteristics that we have to kind of uh, used to make a treatment plan for them, and I like to individualize that for every patient. There's a lot that we have to know about it, and I think uh, research is the way to understand what we do. Uh, you know, to, to sit here and claim that we know everything about reproductive endocrinology, it's, it's not true. I think there's a lot we have to learn about that, um, to be able to, to be complete physicians in the, in the, in the field. The way I do my job, I, I come to work, I look forward to talking to patients, to understanding their experience. I want to participate in it, I want to be their advocate. So I come to work looking forward to almost like meeting new people and this being a new experience and talking to patients as I'm talking to a friend or a person. So, you know, they say, you know, if you love what you do, you never have to work a day in your life. And I think this is how I feel when I come to work every day. When patients leave my office, I want them to think that they have seen the best doctor they've ever seen. That they spoke with a doctor who listened to them, who's gonna address all their needs, who's not gonna just ignore their feelings and thoughts. And I want them to come back. I want them to really leave here thinking that, you know, this is the best doctor we've ever seen. And if they don't feel like that, I don't think I, I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish.